Hey everyone, Sam here. Strixhaven is in the books, and a new week means a new product. Commander 21 will be spoiled over the course of this week, and just like Strixhaven, we started off by taking a long look at Lorehold. I've got my highlights ready for you. Let's take a look. Starting with the color red, Lelia the Blade Reforged offers an impulsive draw trigger and gives you a benefit for using it by growing her larger whenever you exile a card from your library or graveyard. She could make for an interesting mono red commander because she does offer card advantage in the command zone and synergizes well with other impulsive draw or escape effects. In the 99, she does function as a combo piece alongside Chandra's Ignition and Demonic Consultation. Madcap Experiment doesn't see very much play, in large part because it can't be used like a polymorph effect without either killing yourself or finding something that isn't really worth the effort, like Platinum Empyrean. Audacious Reshapers may fall into the same category, but making the effect repeatable may make it more valuable. In an artifact-heavy deck, you're less likely to kill yourself with the effect, and it allows you to convert a treasure token into something more valuable every turn cycle. I don't think this is going to be a combo card. I think it will be much more useful as a value engine. The color white has struggled with both ramp and card draw in Commander for some time, and today we were finally gifted some cards that look to address these shortcomings. Wizards has been promising to help white catch up for some time, and it looks like we've caught up to the point in their release schedule where those promises can be fulfilled. Enter Archaeomancer's Map, which blends land tax and burgeoning together into a uniquely white way to play more lands than you otherwise would. At first glance, the restriction that you can only play your extra land if the opponent has more lands than you do looks like the typically disappointing trope of white cards that only serve to help you catch up, rather than those designed to help you get ahead, but that isn't how this works in practice. If you're not the first player in the turn cycle, you're nearly guaranteed to have an opponent with more lands than you do. You play an extra land when they play their normal land for turn, and then when it's your turn and you play your normal land, you're ahead, not even. White's mana acceleration abilities were further augmented with Monologue Tax, which has a Chrom style trigger that creates a treasure token. Monologue Tax will absolutely see play, but its power will scale with the power of the table. The more regularly you can expect players to cast multiple spells per turn, the more treasures tax will produce for you, and the more you can do with them. That's a start for addressing ramp, but what about card draw? Loshiel Clockwork Scholar can draw one extra card per turn, triggering when an artifact creature enters the battlefield under your control. This is exceptionally easy to enable, giving white a reliable source of extra cards. What's more, the restriction to triggering only once per turn is mitigated by the fact that it isn't a cast trigger, but an ETB trigger. This allows you to draw extra cards by using flicker or reanimation effects on your opponent's turns. For the last highlight of the day, I chose Excavation Technique because it demonstrates a new mechanic. Demonstrate. Demonstrate allows you to copy your spell for free, so long as you allow an opponent to copy it as well. This is a fantastic political tool. There will be a lot of fun in determining when and how to select opponents to whom you will gift a free effect, and making these things part of public discussion is usually a blast. I'm certain though that Demonstrate will sometimes follow a similar play pattern to Chain of Vapor, where when there is an important threat the table must answer, you can manipulate an opponent into using their copy of the spell to answer the threat by using your copies on other targets. When successful, this approach gives you an excellent advantage, removing your opponent's ability to make a real choice and getting ahead on board at the same time. Just be careful, because when this backfires, it usually means you lose the game. Those were the new cards from the Lorehold Commander deck that excited me the most. Were there any others that stood out to you? Which college are you most excited to see break into Commander this week? Let me know in the comments below, and if you like what I do, subscribe to the channel and get that bell on so you know when I upload new videos. Talk soon.